Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my labor and delivery video because I already did have my baby girl Juliana. So this is just going to be a chit chat video on my labor and delivery, um, how I had her three weeks earlier because my due date was uh, September 19th but I had her on August 29th. So this is going to be like a chit chat on my labor and delivery story and what happened and so if you guys are interested in watching this then just keep on watching. So I did write everything down on a notebook paper just so I will forget I won't forget anything. So actually baby Juliana is sleeping behind me and um, if she wakes up I'm definitely gonna show you guys her in the video. So on August 29th I had gone to my clinic. My um, I was doing monitoring because my blood pressure was high and um, they just wanted to monitor me and the baby so on August 29th, I went to do my blood pressure check just for monitoring and just monitoring the baby's heartbeat. So my blood pressure was high. I believe it was 140 over 100, which is really high. So um, they sent me to the ER, which is the emergency room. So they did like urine and they did blood work and I was just waiting and waiting and um, the blood work came back and then they found out that I was starting to... Um, develop preeclampsia which is a risk for me and the baby so the risk is for me I can have a stroke I can have a heart attack and I don't, you can you can look it up if you would like um, it's called preeclampsia so that is a risk for me and the baby so I knew that day that I was gonna have the baby because she the, the doctor the nurse had told me um, she was like you're gonna have this baby either today or tomorrow and um, baby Juliana was actually breached she was head up she was not head down and August 29th I was 37 weeks exactly because I switch over every Monday so I was 37 weeks that day and then um, so I knew I was gonna have her um, I was freaking out I didn't have my diaper bag I had it ready at home but I didn't have my gym bag ready for myself because I wasn't expecting it it was like it was very like uh, very shocking and I was scared and um, I didn't know what to expect so she was breached um, and I had two options I had the option of getting what's called the I don't know what it's called but it's when the baby's breached and they turn the baby they like put their hands on your stomach and they push it I don't know what the name of it is called if I remember I'll, I'll put it down below um, but they try that they could either do that or they can just go sh automatically straight to c-section so um i did the epidural i got the epidural before i chose to do the um when they move the baby to see if they can get it head down to the pelvic so i can get a vaginal birth i don't have to i didn't have to do the c-section oh she's crying um i'll probably grab her soon so um they tried to move her my belly but then they just had they had to stop and that's when they knew I had to do the c-section um, so yeah she was breached they tried to move her but they ended up not wanting to do I don't know why they stopped doing it um, I guess they couldn't anymore so I had to do the c-section so the c-section was my only option so this was about 3 4 ish that I had the epidural before they had to the um they moved my belly to try to put her into the pelvic instead of breached so i did the epidural i thought it was going to be worse than it was but it wasn't even that bad um it felt really weird um you know it's a big needle um going into your spine in the back and it feels really weird it, like tingles and it feels really cold i don't know how to explain it um but i thought it was gonna be worse than it was actually it wasn't even that bad so did that so around 4:35, I went to C-section, and I was all drugged up. Um, I was on a lot of medication. I was on something for IVs for high blood pressure, and I was just like all messed up. I didn't know, like my mind was not there. Like I was like all like nauseous, and I was not feeling good or feeling myself. So. Um, went to the C-section room, me and my boyfriend, it, was, it could only be one person, so my boyfriend went with me. And I remember right when I got into the C-section room, I felt so sick, and it was so bright and so cold in that room. And I remember just feeling so nauseous, I was like, I'm going to throw up. And before they had cut me open, I threw up. Um, 
like right there she gave me like a bucket and I was just like gagging and throwing up it was weird only a little bit so after that my boyfriend came in because at first he had to wait for a little bit and then um I obviously didn't see nothing because they put like a blue sheet over um, so I wouldn't see anything so my boyfriend had came in he sat next to me like right by my shoulder and I was talking to him and I remember I was just kept talking and I was like I don't even know what I was doing uh, I don't remember what I was saying but I was just talking to him and then I was like are you guys cutting me open I remember there was a nurse doctor next to me and I was like are you guys cutting me open she's like yeah we already started and I was like I can't feel anything it was so weird like I was so numb and it just felt so weird so they were cutting me open next thing you know um, I see the baby's hand I see the baby's leg but I did not see her face and then I just started like crying got, like emotional and started like tearing up and crying my boyfriend did the same and then as soon as I seen her I was like oh my god this is so like this is real like this is happening I couldn't believe it like that was the best day of my life August 29th and she was born at 524 p.m. and she weighed six pounds ten ounces and she is so beautiful her name is Juliana Bella Souza and she is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me um, I never thought how much a baby well my baby could bring so much joy to me and happiness it's just like the best feeling in the world um, I cannot believe that I'm still a mom and everything is new to me and you know I'm learning things every single day um, so yeah so I had had her on Monday August 29th I didn't go home until um, Friday that was another day I got emotional and we went out in the car and I started cr tearing up and crying because I couldn't believe she was with us already and we were going home and we weren't going to be in the hospital anymore like this was like like this was like um, a dream come true like it felt so weird so we went home Friday and um, everything is went good I was like I, I was kind of like homesick at the hospital like I wanted to get the hell out of there um, so yeah we got home Friday and um, everything was great everything was going really good um, she's actually two weeks old today and three days and we went to the doctors yesterday she actually gained 10 ounces and she said that she's doing really great and um, so yeah I'm so happy and her umbilical cord did fall off a couple like two days ago and um, so now we can start giving her baths um, instead of giving her sponge baths because you cannot give the baby a bath until the umbilical, um, umbilical cord falls off so now that that is gone we can start giving her baths and yeah so um, other than that um, my c-section um, as soon as I got out of the hospital I didn't need any pain medications um, I believe that Thursday or Friday I stopped doing pain medication just because I didn't need it and they were like wow like they couldn't believe that I didn't need the pain medications and like, and every time I tell somebody that I don't take the pain medication I don't feel any pain they're like wow like good for you like like that's crazy like I know and I'm I'm impressed with myself too like I don't need to take any like ibuprofen they give me Percocets I don't need to take any of that that makes me feel really like drowsy and tired and sick so I don't take any of that but I do take a um, medication for my high blood pressure I don't know how long I'm gonna be on that for and then I am still taking my prenatal vitamins so this is baby Juliana let me zoom in on her this is baby Juliana Juliana Bella right baby so cute she just woke up so she's probably like what the heck is right in front of me I have my ring light on and it's so bright she's probably like what are you doing but it's so crazy because I remember just sitting here a couple weeks ago and talking to you guys about pregnancy and stuff like that um, my weekly updates on pregnancy and she's already here so it's so crazy everyone says that she looks like my boyfriend but um, she does but I also see her in me as well um, when I was a baby I look back at my pictures and I'm like she looks like me in some way but she looks a lot like her dad so say hi baby <laughs> hi baby <laughs> she's like sleeping what are you doing what are you doing I love this little girl like she's like my little doll 
So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll definitely be doing videos of Juliana. I'm probably going to do vlogging. Um, this video, this channel is not going to be much as beauty as it used to be just because of my mom and you know it's going to be different now. Everything is going to be about my little princess. Um, and like this is like the first day I ever threw on like makeup like I've been going all natural. Um, and if I do put something on it's just mascara. And just the eyebrows, so yeah, no time for that anymore. It's all about this little princess, right? Yeah, this channel is definitely gonna be about her. I'm gonna do vlogs, I'm gonna do videos of her. Um, I'm gonna document everything just so when she grows up, I can always look back on it. And I was gonna create a new channel just for her, but um, I do want to just keep um, this channel for her because I did my pregnancy updates with her, um, you see my belly shots. And it's sad because my belly is not big anymore. I definitely went down. Say bye, Juliana. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> so I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, instead of me saying bye now, say bye bye. All right, guys. Bye. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.